Alright guys, so I just wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial here showing you how to take a kiosk Vita or a demo unit Vita. As you'll see, that's what this one is here. This is not for sale. Anyway, uh, I believe this is like on like uh, 318 or something, whatever the firmware is on this. Uh, I'm not going to boot it up in there, but it is definitely in uh, demo mode. Um, but now, with uh, the new hacks, the Henkaku that's out, you can actually um, make this a fully functional retail model and then uh, do all your hacks and everything else. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, get into that. Okay, so uh, one of the first things you're going to need here is your memory card. Uh, we will need this. So, and I believe, at least on these first models, that it didn't have any internal memory, so we'll definitely need it on this one here. So let's go ahead and put that in. Okay, and now we're going to need some files. Um, so anyway, the files that we're going to need, I already have on my desktop here, and I will put them in a link on the description. Anyway, so I'll have a folder uh, that says Vita Update, and then the other program we're going to need is uh, QCMA. So I'll open QCMA, we'll set that up. Right, click through that. Next, agree. And you can set this wherever you like. I just like having it in the root, but you can really install that wherever you want. Okay. All right, and for whatever reason on mine, and you can try both, um, the, let's see, lib USB zero driver doesn't work for me uh, for whatever reason. Only the uh, lib USB K driver works. Um, I guess try the zero driver first or K. Um, if one doesn't work, the other one should. So anyway, let's go and install this one. Okay. Let's not do that. Okay, so anyway, finished and that's installed. Okay, now let's go to run QCMA, and as you'll see, I have the desktop or the icon already on the desktop because I installed this before. So let's go to finish. Okay, so it is now running. All right, so we'll go down to here. You'll see your icon at the bottom. Right click, go to settings. Now, here's where the magic's gonna happen. So, as I said, I have a folder named Vita Update. Okay? So, you can actually put it in whatever folder you want. I always just keep it on the desktop. So anyway, here we go. Users, and that's my username. And then desktop, Vita Update. And again, you can go wherever you want with this. Anyway, I'll show you. That's where I got it. To update, double click, select folder. Okay, so it's pointing to this folder here, which I have two files in there, which as I said, I'll have it in the description. I'll have uh, the program and this uh, folder with the two uh, files in here already on there. Okay, so the top one is going to be our firmware 3.60, and this is the uh, hackable firmware with the uh, Henkaku. So anyway, we got that, okay, and then the other one, the XML file. Now let's go to edit and just look at this. Now you don't have to do this. If, if you uh, live in the United States and you have a U.S. console, you won't have to mess with this at all. As you'll see, the region ID already says U.S. If you live in Europe, just set that to EU. Okay, but we don't have to mess with that if we're in the U.S. here, so let's exit out of that. Okay, so anyway, um, when you download the files, 
uh, from the description. Uh, these will already be named appropriately, so you won't have to worry about that. So all you'll have to do now, like I said, point it to your Vita update folder. Now we got, uh, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, now the next thing you're gonna wanna do, okay, take your transfer cable, all right, and plug it into your computer. Maybe. Okay. Let's go down here. Put this in. All right. Now, this is going to be very important. Whenever you do this, this might be difficult because I'm holding the camera. What you're going to want to do is press. Okay, so when you start this up, you're going to want to hold the left shoulder, the right shoulder, home, and then power it on. Holding the left, right, and then home, and then power it on. This is going to take you to the restore menu. So I'm going to attempt to do this. My apologies for not having a stand to do this. Okay, so holding these three, and then now pressing the power, holding it down, holding it down. Okay. There we go. In our safe mode here. All right, and the one we're going to be wanting here is update the system software. Okay, we're going to want to update connecting to a PC. You'll see some stuff's going on on your computer. You'll see now. New version of the system software is available. We'll hit next. And there we go. We're updating to 3.60. As I'm filming this, as I'm filming this, it's already at 3.61 if you try to get it online. You do not want to get 3.61. That's why we're going through this and uh, updating the 3.60 through your computer. Okay, this will take a little bit. So there we go. You can read through all that if you like. But it's just your standard 3.60 firmware update. And when you update this way, you will still be in demo mode. We got to change that with the hack. Okay. Update. Right. Once this is done, we will start again. 
right, and I'm going to freeze this, and then we'll go back to when it's done. All right, so once the update is done, um, it'll bring you back to the 3.60 firmware, and uh, what you want to do is shut it back down. Now, I would recommend having it plugged in uh, to power your AC when you do this, because otherwise, demo mode will reset your console after five minutes. That's the main reason we want to get out of demo mode. So let's plug our power in here. Okay. Start our console back up. It actually should do it automatically. All right, so there we are. We're in our demo mode. Okay, so to get out of demo mode, you need to press LR, up, and hold start, which I will attempt to do on camera here. Okay, so now we're temporary, uh, temporarily out of demo mode. This isn't a full retail, this is just taking us out of the demo mode on here. So now, let's go to our settings. Okay, as you see I have flight mode on. Um, one of the things you want to make sure you have done, in case something gets messed up here, is you want to set it up to where, and as you can see, system information 3.60, and auto start settings. And make sure you do not have the download update file for system software. That way it won't automatically update to 3.61. Okay, so now let's go to network, Wi-Fi settings. And let me connect my router. Okay, all right, and then there's my network here. Oop. Press the wrong thing. Click my network, and I'll go to connect. So I'm connected now. Back, go to home. And now we can actually run our exploit. Okay, let's get www. Let's get out of that. Go to Henkaku. Oop. Okay, so it's Henkaku.xyz. Hit enter. Install. Okay. Okay, so the exploit is running. Okay, so the exploit ran and installed. You will see that. There we go. This is the one you're going to want here. This molecular shell. Okay, so we already installed it. So I'm going to hit start on this. Alright, so now here is our FTP. You're going to want to go down to uh, UXO, but first hit select. Okay, so now it's got an FTP server running. So you're gonna wanna go to your computer and go into that. Okay. So it was 192.168.2.4 and then the port is 1337. Let's go up here. Have 
delete that IP in. I'll just change that over. The correct IP. 1337. Let's do a quick connect. Okay, so we're in it. Now we have our UXO folder. And we can create a new folder or we could just drop it in. It doesn't matter anywhere in, in that directory you can do that. So I'm just gonna make a new one. I'm just gonna call it VPKs. I'm gonna put our IDU mode program in here, and this is what's gonna unlock it to make it um, full retail. Okay, so we got that folder. And I will actually put this uh, FTP program on there. It's uh, FileZilla, so it's not anything too hard to use. Copy that. Okay, transferring. Okay, so now it should be in our folder VPKs on our Vita. Hit OK. Then UXO. Go down to VPKs. Okay, hit X in our IDU mode, that VBK, hit X. Want to install this package? Yes. Hit yes. Okay, so that's installed. Now we can go back home. IDU mode, click on it. Start it. Okay, and as you'll see, it says the status is 0. Point, or 0x1, which that means it's already enabled, so we're going to disable it. So we're going to hit O to clear the IDU mode. So I click O. Okay, and then we hit any key to exit the application. Okay. And now, once we restart, we will have a fully functional Vita, retail Vita. So let's hold the power button down. Power off. Okay. Right back on. All right, and there you go. We have a full retail Vita now. Work just like any other Vita that you can buy. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helped you out. Um, any comments? Uh, any questions? Want to comment on how terrible my uh, filming of this was? <laughs> uh, just uh, leave it in the comments, and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for watching.